Hi guys, welcome back to Engineering's YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I'll be your host for today's video. And for today's video, we will be talking about the technique that is used to find the final number of moles or the final concentration in chemical reactions that have reached thermal, I mean chemical equilibrium. So for this problem, it states that a mixture of 11.02 millimoles of hydrogen sulfide and 5.48 millimoles of methane was placed in an empty container along with the platinum catalyst. The equilibrium is as follows. Hydrogen sulfide plus methane will produce hydrogen gas plus carbon disulfide, which is also a gas. Analysis of the equilibrium mixture found 0 0.711 millimoles of carbon disulfide. Find the amount of hydrogen sulfide at equilibrium in millimoles. So what you have to do here is first, you have to check if the equation that is given here is balanced. So first, you have to balance the chemical equation. So we have H2S is a gas plus methane which is also a gas. And there's a forward and backward reaction. So there, there is a reversible arrow. This is actually a reversible, reversible arrow. And then um, there is H2, so a gas, plus yes. So we have to uh, no, list or we have to take into account the number of atoms of each individual element. So first, we have carbon. How many for the reactant side and how many for the product side? So here, there is one. Sa lang yung carbon mo, here, di ba? And here, sa product side, there is also one. So, actually, ang carbon natin ay balanced na. And then after that, yung sulfur. And for your reactant side, there is only one. But then here, you have two. Kasi may subscript na two yung sulfur mo. So, there is two. From here, we can see that we have we have to do some balancing because it is balanced. So the sulfur is imbalanced, and then hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen. For the reactant side, there is two plus four plus six, and here we have two only. So now we gotta do some balancing. Okay, so carbon is balanced, so we just leave it as it is. How about sulfur? This one is 2. So, yung 1, yung multiply natin sa 2. Nasa yung sulfur? It's in this compound, sa hydrogen sulfide. So, we put 2 here in front. And dahil, we multiply natin siya by 2, you have to take into account the change that occurred. So, yung sulfur natin magiging 2 na. So, ito, balance na siya. Yung carbon natin ay balance na rin. So, ano na lang hindi balance? Yung hydrogen. Ngayon, dahil we multiply mo yung hydrogen sulfide by 2, Yung, yung number of hydrogen atoms mo on the reactant side have changed as well. So, itong um, hydrogen became um, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 here, so it became 8. Diba? And here, dalawa pa rin. Wala naman tayong binago dito. So, ngayon, dito na natin i, um, i dapat balance according sa change that occurred. So, itong 8, what are you going to do to 2 to get it? Na para, mag, para maging 8 siya. So yung 2, you multiply mo by 4. And then it becomes 8, right? So ito, talagang nalalari siya na coefficient na 4. Okay? So here, dito na, um, papasok yung i-stable natin. And here, pakita natin yung importance ng coefficients ng equation na kinuha natin kanina sa i-stable. So, ice is actually a mnemonic for initial. You have initial. You have change. And then finally, we have equilibrium. So, we're going to rewrite the um, <coughs> equation that we found out Karina, na balance na. Okay? So, dito we have two hydrogen sulfide plus um we have uh, methane na wala namang pinagbago 
And then for the products, we have um, hydrogen gas. That is four. And then we have carbon disulfide. Okay. So, I am. Pero tayong given in the problem. Yung initial number of moles ng reactants, which is the hydrogen sulfide and the methane. So, 11.2 millimoles. And dito is 5.48 millimoles. And dahil um, wala pa nangyayaring reaction when we're talking about the initial stage, yung amount of products mo ay zero. Wala siyang number of moles present. So, yung change naman natin, this is where the coefficients will play importance. Okay? So, dito, uh, actually, dahil unknown siya, lalagyan na lang natin siya ng x. Okay? So, for every mole or for every one mole of compound that changed, or reacted with another, it is directly propor proportional to the stoichiometric ratio that um, we follow here. So, dito, your reactants mo, it will react to, to make products. So, babawasan siya. So, ito magiging negative x in this one as well. But dahil, for every methane, there is two hydrogen sulfide that reacts, dapat negative 2x to. Okay? Ito naman, dahil siya yung product, siya yung... Um, uh, mag-produce, siya yung matadagdagan, di ba? So, yung x natin here will be plus, and then you multiply by the uh, coefficient, it will be 4x. Okay? At, di at dito, wala naman siyang coefficient, so it will just be plus x. So, that is um, how you utilize the ice table. So, we're gonna now uh, calculate for the equilibrium that is um, being asked for in the problem. But we know, sa isa dito, sa CS2, na 0 0.711 millimoles yung um, nabuo. So here, we have 7, 0 0.711 millimoles. And dahil ito, kompleto siya, meron tayo initial change and equilibrium, we can use this as the basis to find x first. Here, we can use this to find x. Use to find x. Okay? So, ang equation natin for that is actually initial plus change is equal to equilibrium. equilibrium. Therefore, for CS2, the initial natin ay 0 plus yung change na x is equal sa 0 0.711. And from here, we can deduct that x is equal to 0.711. Okay? Now we have found the value for x. And now we just have to calculate the equilibrium reaction for each. Okay? So for hydrogen gas, it'll be 0 plus 4x, which is equal to 4 times 0 0.711, which is equal to 0.711. Four four millimoles, and then for um methane, it'll be five point forty eight minus x, which is five point forty eight minus zero point seven one one, which is equal to. Four point seven six nine. All these are in minimal. And finally, for hydrogen sulfide, we have eleven point zero two millimoles. Sorry, na mo ng units. Eleven point zero two minus two x is equals to eleven point zero two. Minus 2 times 0 0.711, which is equal to 
5 by 8. Minimals. So that is our answer for the problem. We just write it here. Dito, 2.844 minimals. Here is 4.769 minimals. And here we have 9.598 so you hinahanap sa problem. So, yep. I hope you learned a lot from today's video. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.